morning learner. Welcome once again to our hygiene and nutrition activities. And today I want us to discuss about prevention of water contamination. Ways in which we can prevent water contamination at home. And before we start our today's lesson, I want us to remind ourselves of what we learned during our previous lessons. And we learned about water contamination. Where I was asking you, what is water contamination? Can you try answering that? What is water contamination? Or what is contaminated water? We said water contamination, we said water contamination, water contamination, Yes, we say water contamination is the addition, if you can remember, is the addition of that and other harmful substances. in water. So this is what we say water contamination is. And we said it is the addition of that and other harmful substances in water. And if, if you can remember, we also did an experiment to show water contamination. If you can remember, I had two glasses full of clean water and one was clean then the other one i added some soil dirt into it and i say i had contaminated that water it was now contaminated water and i also gave you an assignment and i asked you to do the same at home i hope you did them and um, i also asked you to ask your parents to take your photo to send me so that i could see what you've done if you forgot, you still have time, you can do it still. So this is what we learned during our previous lesson. And we also discussed about ways in which we can contaminate the water. And we mentioned many ways. Can you remember them? Like I read for you a story. I hope you can remember. The story was talking about how people were contaminating the water. Like we saw someone bathing in the water, someone throwing rubbish in the water. So when you do all that, it means you are doing what is called water contamination. And we also say contaminated water is harmful to our health. Contaminated water is dirty water. So whenever you use or you take dirty water, it means you are harming your health and you can become sick. So in our today's lesson, I want us to discuss how we can prevent water contamination. And before we start that, do you have water at your home? Yes, apart from the running water from the tap, we always store water at home. Where do you store your water? Some use the bottles, right? Some use the water containers like the jerry cans and the buckets. Jerry cans like this, yeah? Bibuyo. Yes, this is what we call jerry can. Some also use the bottles like this, yes. So when you are storing water, how are you supposed to store it? Do you use the dirty container? We always use clean container. Like this is my drinking water. It is in a clean container. Before I store my water, I ensure that the container I want to use to store my water, it should be clean, very clean. Then now, after storing your water, after putting your water in the container, you make sure it has the cover. Yes, it must have the cover. You have to cover your container. For example, this is our 
jelly can. If I want to store water into it, I will make sure it is clean. So it means I have to wash it first. Then I put my water, then I cover it. And why do we cover our water? To prevent that from falling into it. It can give the insects, small insects, even at home. We always see some small insects like the ants. Yes, the cockroaches. They are, some of them are found in our home. So when you're storing your water, you have to ensure that you cover your container well. So that these, these insects don't do what? Don't fall into your water because they can also contaminate that water. Because if, you, if, they, if they fall by mistake into that water, it will die and it will rot in the water. So it will contaminate our water. And so, ways of preventing water contamination, I would say, by storing our water in clean containers and ensuring that they are covered well. Are we together? And another way of preventing water contamination, how do we also prevent water contamination? Like in our homes, we have eczema. Yes. We have eczema. Uh, it's also known as wells. I believe most of us know them. Where we get our water from underground. So what do we do? You have to cover it. You have to cover it. Yes, because at home we have some pets like the dogs and the cats. In case you don't cover your well, your pet may, may do what? may fall into the well and die there, yes? Then after it has died, it will rot and it will contaminate our water. And I also want you to know that water is very, very important. Water is very, very important. Like we use water in doing so many things, yeah? You can't go a day without using water, we cook with water, we bathe with water, we clean with water. So water is very important. And we also do celebrate World Water Day. And when do we celebrate that? Every 22nd day of March. We celebrate what? World Water World Water Day because water is very, very important to us. And that is why as good pupils, good children, we should always learn ways of preventing water contamination. We should be promoting water contamination because we mean clean water. So even when you go home, when you go back to your rural home, Bara, what do you do? When you go to get your water from the river, you don't throw rubbish in the river. You don't do what? You don't bathe in the river. Because when you do that, it means you are doing, promoting what? You are promoting water contamination. Even here, maybe you are from the shop or from the market. Yes, you buy a snack after eating. Where do you throw the where do you throw the wrapper? It can be paper. Where do you throw it? We don't throw rubbish anyhow. Yes, you can keep it and throw it back at home in the dustbin where it should be. Because if you drop litters everywhere, when it rains, what will happen? The rain will carry the rubbish to the river and it is going to do what? It will contaminate our water. So I want us to write something. We can prevent, we can prevent contamination We can prevent contamination of drinking water of drinking water at home 
at home by stirring the water. By stirring the water. In clean cupboard, clean cupboard container. Yes, we can prevent contamination of drinking water at home by storing the water in clean cupboard container. So how else can we prevent water contamination? I said not washing not washing clothes not washing clothes from rivers Especially for those who live in their country, you will find most of the people like going to wash clothes from their river. So if you see a person doing that, you tell them it is not healthy because they are doing what? They are contaminating water. Not swimming in rivers. Not swimming. Not swimming in rivers. Yes, because when you swim in rivers, it means you are doing what? You are contaminating the water. Then, watering animals away from rivers. Watering animals. Away from away from rivers. This is another way of preventing water contamination. Then covering covering the well. At home, and why do we cover the wells at home to prevent that things to prevent that things from getting inside. Because we all need clean water. 
Yes, we need clean water in doing everything. We can't wash our clothes in dirty water. We can't cook in dirty water. We can't drink dirty water, right? So we have to ensure that we keep our water clean and safe. We keep our water clean and safe. And how do we do that? We do that by preventing water contamination. And I believe right now you know what is water contamination. We say it is the addition of dirt and other harmful substances in water. So before I finish, I want you to practice activity on page 45. Page 45. And what are they saying? During your free time, make the following poster. Yes, you'll make a poster like that. Then you write, their water is life. Do not contaminate it. Then you can always put it on your gate so that when someone passes, they will see water is life. Do not contaminate it. Yes, and they will remember not to contaminate water with. Because we discussed contaminated water is harmful to our health. We all need clean water. Then you will come to the practice activity one. You will answer those questions. That from number one to four. Number one to four. Number one to four. So I hope you enjoyed the lesson and I want to wish you a wonderful day as you continue keeping safe at home.